What's up, guys? Uh, the news is in. Criterion is effing difficult. Now, I've been up since 7 a.m., about three hours after the patches dropped, and I've been progging for Criterion with people from my Discord. Thank you so much to Cactuar, Thatch, and Gigi Josh in my Discord for getting up and <laughs> running through the ringer with me. This dungeon is mind-blowingly difficult, the normal. We've been doing it for about four to five hours now, and we can't even really get past the first boss. It hits so hard. The mechanics hit really hard. There's a lot of mechanics. There's a lot of personal responsibility. There's a lot of split second decision making. Decision making that really is important to the party and knowing where to move each of the mechanics. It's insane. I've been looking a little bit on Reddit and just seeing all the people talking about it. 610 gear is fine. I don't think there will be much of a difference. Obviously, there will be a little bit. Two of the people were above 620 and one of them was 626. So, and they were still like getting really, really hit hard on these mechanics. I don't know if I should do spoiler or non-spoiler, like showing imagery. Like I have to show the fight. The fight's already shown. Okay, so I'm gonna show you from the fight. I'm not gonna show you anything else um, just from the Criterion mouse fight because that's basically, um, it's already been shown on the live letter. So I'm not gonna worry about that being a spoiler. The variant dungeons are spoilers, I think, because there's a lot of backstory and lore, um, but I've just gone straight to Criterion. But basically, with the traditional setup, two DPS, one tank, it's probably some of the most difficult content that I have personally done. I don't do extreme or savage trials often, um, but there's a lot of communication that happens. There's a lot of call outs that happen. And I couldn't imagine doing this even with a guide queuing in even with a guide. I know the guide's gonna make it a lot easier because then you kind of know the mechanics coming up and maybe even a visual video guide. Basically, this dungeon, I'm not gonna say it's for advanced players or players who um, do raids. I think normal and casual players can play this content, but it's not for the faint of heart. So if you're gonna rage quit after a few wipes, then um, you might want to go in with people you actually know and want to play with, like either in the Discord, like my Discord will probably be running some groups and you can join that down in the description box down below. But I think queuing in until we get further on the item level and there's just more safety, I think it's going to be really difficult content for the next couple of weeks until we get higher item levels or maybe a guide comes out and you learn every single mechanic. Because even the first boss alone, I haven't even seen the second or third boss on the Criterion Normal. Just the first boss is like took in four or five hours, which is always true for when a boss comes out or when new content comes out. Even just like thinking in the future, like looking at other pieces of content, it you out level it pretty quickly. This one, I just don't see you out leveling it as quickly as some of the previous content. Comment down below if you've done Criterion. Um, I'm loving it. I think it's so much fun and it's so nice that it's just with three other people. So you're not having to deal with seven people for like trials or savages. Um, for extreme trials or for savage rating. And I'm just really enjoying like having that close knit communication with just three other people on VC. Again, I'm sure we'll be able to do this queuing at one point, but I would really go with a preformed party as my personal recommendation, because you can learn a lot quicker when you can talk on voice chat and be able to um, like explain what the mechanics are or what you saw in each of the mechanics. For rewards, we have rewards for variant dungeons as well as rewards for criterion dungeon. For the variant dungeons, you're able to get your noir coat, which is a glamour that we'd seen in the live letter, as well as an earring and the wow emote. For criterion dungeons, you're going to get a different currency, which is going to allow you to get that archon throne, and you're going to be able to get the basic materia, orchestration scroll, and just kind of the regular things you can get from hard content. I'm hoping that they keep updating the Criterion Dungeons and add more to it and maybe add more rewards as like kind of a harder piece of content and just looking forward to seeing where it goes. If you want to grab the Silky, then all you need to do is just collect the 12 different survey records from variant dungeons and turn those in for an achievement. I'm really happy that the Silky Mount is not tied behind Criterion because that would make it way, 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 way longer to get than if you were to just do the variant dungeons for a couple hours.
I think a lot of Raiders are going to enjoy this content. It's so, so, so challenging. And I just really like to know what your guys' thoughts are about this content. I, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely loving it. It is so difficult. I'm looking forward to putting out more content and videos about the Criterion and Criterion Savage. I am going all the way through. I want to make it and beat Savage but I think it's gonna take some time and I think it's gonna take a dedicated static. So um, dungeon statics, like I said in my earlier video, I think are gonna be a thing, especially for this Criterion and Criterion Savage. And I know that we have a list of rewards and I think they're just gonna add more rewards to that. So I'm really looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys later. I do stream here on my channels on Tuesdays and Fridays. So if it is Tuesday or Friday, make sure to check out my channel for if I'd live streamed or not. I hope you guys all have a wonderful patch 2.5. And if you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.